I had an interesting question come up this morning. How do you synchronize your audio with your video in case it's out of sync? I'm doing this right now in OBS using this microphone, but when you get ready to render your video, if you discover that the audio and video are not in sync, there is a way to fix it in LumaFusion. We'll go over that now, and I'm going to illustrate something. I've got a blue snowball here, and I'm going to switch over to that, and I've got no delay on the blue snowball. So let me turn this microphone off, turn the blue snowball on. Okay, that's with the blue snowball on. And it's 170 milliseconds, so it's not super obvious, but it can be distracting if you're watching somebody and their mouth isn't moving at the right speed. And to illustrate how much difference there is in this, I want to turn both microphones on for just a second. Okay, okay that's, that's both, both microphones, microphones turned, turned on, on, so there, so there should, should be a very, very noticeable, noticeable delay, delay in, in there. there. I get back on this microphone to not make you suffer through the delay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record a small little segment here of just, I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to record a small segment. And in that one little small segment, I'm going to show you how to separate the audio from the video and then realign it to where it's a little more pleasing to look at. And one other thing, um, speaking of looking at things if i'm looking at this camera over here and talking to it because i think it's the one that's on it's kind of distracting when you're look when you're using your cell phone if you're looking at the screen and looking at yourself the camera's over to one side and it looks like you're looking over the like if i do like this it looks like i'm looking over your shoulder so kind of remember where the where your actual camera lens is and look at the lens just to, in case you didn't know i'm going to record another segment here okay i'm recording this with the blue snowball so just to show you i'll get a little closer to it but it should be a little bit out of sync and i'm just going to use a a small segment here and this is going to be what i'm going to demonstrate in the LumaFusion program to show you how to set this up. So this is going to be the before clip and the after clip. And I'll have those in sequence and then I'll do a little wrap up. Okay, I'm recording this with the blue snowball. So just to show you, I'll get a little closer to it. But it should be a little bit out of sync and I'm just going to use a, a small segment here. And this is going to be what I'm going to demonstrate in the LumaFusion program to show you how to set this up. So this is going to be the before clip and the after clip. And I'll have those in sequence and then I'll do a little wrap up. Okay, I'm recording this with my iPhone. So I'm kind of going around everything. I'll try to make this as easy as possible. There's a couple of ways to get this into your timeline. You can double tap this clip or you can drag it and drop it in. Now I am going to do something just for illustrative purposes. I'm going to add a blank clip because I can't move this past the beginning of the video. So I'm going to add a blank clip here to make it easier to, to demonstrate something. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to separate. You can see all these little squiggly lines. That's the audio. And we need to take that out because right now, if you play this, my video and audio are not synchronized. Okay, I'm recording this with the blue snowball. So there's a little bit of a little bit out of sync there. Right here is a little two little boxes with some lines in it. We're gonna tap that. And now we have an extra line. The audio moved out. Now you see there's no solid line through here. The solid line is here. There's no audio in this clip. What we're going to do right this second to exaggerate how bad out of sync it is. We're going to move this over and then it'll be very obvious. Okay, I'm recording this with the blue snowball. You probably won't run into a situation where it's that bad. But to help you fine tune this, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to zoom in on this 
And now this blue line, the, what used to be a blue line, is a white line that's now one frame wide. So you can see we I moved that way, way out of sync. Let's move it back the other way. And we're going to go, I'm going to start off with three frames. So there's one frame, there's two, there's three. And we're just guessing with this because if you don't know how far out of sync you are, you're going to have to guess. We're going to play this and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm recording this with the blue snowball, so just to show you, I'll get a little closer to it. But it should be a little bit out of sync, and I'm just going to use a, a small segment here. Okay, so that didn't look too bad. I'm going to move it one more frame, so four frames. Let's take a look at that. Okay, I'm recording this with the blue snowball, so... Just to show you, I'll get a little closer to I it. like that. But So it's just that easy. You separate the audio and the video, and it's just a trial and error thing till you get it to where it looks right. And I'm going to have the funny clip, and I'm going to have the rendered clip, and I'm going to come back and do a wrap-up. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. I'm sorry this is kind of hobbled together, but somebody asked me the question this morning. Happened to be my day off, and I wanted to get this done quickly because it's kind of hard to answer in a comment. So here you go. If anybody has any more questions, throw them at me. I'm going to throw some other videos up over here, and I'll catch you in one of those, or I'll catch you in the room.